the construction work for the complete renewal of the Ridham power plant in the canton of Tessin has commenced, marking a significant milestone in Switzerland's pursuit of sustainable energy solutions. Originally built in 1920, the project aims to revitalize the power plant to meet modern standards and enhance its efficiency. Owned jointly by SBB, Swiss Federal Railways, and AET, Azienda Electrica Tissonese, the renovation project is a collaborative effort to harness the potential of the region's natural resources for generating electricity. The ambitious renewal project encompasses the construction of a pressure tunnel, a new power station, and an equalizing reservoir with an impressive capacity of 100,000 cubic meters. The project's scope requires precision engineering and a blend of traditional and innovative construction techniques. The timeline for the renovation stretches until spring 2022, highlighting the complexity and scale of the endeavor. The first phase of the project saw the commencement of construction work, including initial blasting activities. Subsequently, the teams have focused on creating the access tunnel leading to the cavern where the new power station will be located. Concurrently, work is underway on the installation for the shaft head, exterior construction, and the construction of the material ropeway vital for transporting necessary resources to the site. Key to the project's success is the strategic use of the region's natural water resources. A new water intake situated in Lago Ritam, located at an elevation of 1,847 meters and a 2,300 meter long pressure tunnel in Piata, 1,001 meters, will play a central role in generating electricity in the new above-ground power station. The water from Lago Ritam will flow through the pressure tunnel to the power station, where it will be utilized for generating electricity. The surplus water will then be directed to the newly constructed equalizing reservoir, eventually finding its way back to the Ticino River. Remarkably, the renewed power station will also function as a pump storage power plant, enabling the facility to pump water from the compensating reservoir in Aerolo to Lago Ritam, thus further optimizing its energy production capabilities. The pressure tunnel, a crucial component of the project, is divided into three sections. The upper and lower sections, approximately 150 meters and 650 meters in length, respectively, are being constructed using the drill and blast method. The middle section, measuring around 1,500 meters in length, presents a unique engineering challenge. It is being excavated as an inclined tunnel using a specialized gripper tunnel boring machine, TBM, with a diameter of 3.23 meters, designed specifically for this purpose. At present, the focus of the teams is on working on the lower pressure tunnel as well as performing the preliminary cut of the water drives and excavation of the equalizing reservoir. Additionally, specialists are actively preparing the conversion of the existing power plant to accommodate the installation of a new frequency converter, a crucial component for the updated power station. Simultaneously, the construction of a conveyor belt system over the Ticino River and the A2 freeway is underway, linking the power plant to the new train loading station in Piata. Furthermore, preparations and assembly work are ongoing for the installation of a new material ropeway that will facilitate the transportation of resources from Altanka, 1,315 meters, to Piora, 1,847 meters. The Ridham Power Plant Renewal Project is a testament to Switzerland's commitment to harnessing renewable energy sources and fostering sustainability. Once completed, the revitalized power plant will play a pivotal role in the region's energy infrastructure, providing a reliable source of clean electricity and supporting the country's efforts to combat climate change. By leveraging the power of nature and implementing cutting-edge engineering solutions, the Ridham Power Plant is poised to become a symbol of progress and environmental stewardship in the heart of the Swiss Alps. Located in the picturesque Swiss canton of Ticino, the Ridham Power Plant has a long and storied history dating back a century. Originally built to electrify the Swiss Gothard Railway, the power plant has undergone significant developments over the years, culminating in an ambitious and innovative project to upgrade its capacity and efficiency. 
One of the most remarkable aspects of the project is the construction of an underground pressure tunnel, accomplished with the use of a cutting-edge tunnel boring machine, TBM. The beginning. Electrifying the Gothard Railway around 100 years ago, the Ridham Hydropower Plant came into operation, enabling the electrification of the Swiss Gothard Railway. However, the challenging geology of the Gothard Massif presented significant difficulties for the engineers and miners. They had to resort to overground penstocks, which have since defined the mountain's appearance. The vision of a modern pump storage system in the 1960s, engineers set their sights on developing a modern and efficient pump storage system for the Ridham power plant. As part of a comprehensive replacement project, this vision is now becoming a reality with the construction of an underground pressure tunnel. This tunnel will play a pivotal role in the plant's upgrade and will be completed in three phases. The middle inclined shaft, a feat of engineering. The centerpiece of the underground pressure tunnel is the middle incline shaft, a remarkable 1,500 meter long passage. To excavate this daunting tunnel, engineers turned to the Heronicht Gripper TBM, a state-of-the-art hard rock machine manufactured in Schwanau. The TBM's impressive journey begins 600 meters deep in the rock, within a specially created cavern at Lake Ridham. From there, the TBM embarks on a challenging route, ascending 901 meters at a gradient of 23 degrees and passing under the river foss. Then, the machine continues its steep ascent, climbing 633 meters at a striking gradient of 42 degrees. This ambitious incline represents an unprecedented gradient of 90%, making it a truly unique and exceptional engineering achievement. Innovations for success, the success of this ambitious project hinges on the reliability of the TBM. To ensure the TBM's stability during the steep ascent, engineers designed a sophisticated anti-slip gripper unit. This unit, along with a specially designed knuckle lever device, prevents the 95-meter-long, 290-ton machine from slipping backward, securing it firmly in the rock mass throughout the journey. A technical innovation was necessary to optimize the knuckle lever mechanism due to the TBM's relatively small diameter of 3.23 meters, which made accessing the mechanism challenging. Engineers implemented a solution that allows for convenient mechanical adjustments during the drive, utilizing wedges moved by cylinders. This ingenious modification ensures the TBM's smooth progress during its arduous ascent. Breakthrough and progress, the hard work and dedication of the miners paid off when they successfully broke through into the cavern on March 23, 2022. This milestone marked a significant step forward in the completion of the Rhythm Power Plant's ambitious upgrade. Rhythm Power Plant's significance in role, the Rhythm Pump Storage Power Plant, has been a crucial electrical power buffer for both the Swiss Federal Railways and the Ticino Electrical Grid since its inception in 1920. With an initial capacity of 44 megawatts, it supplied power to the Swiss railways at 16.7 hertz and the public power grid at 50 hertz. The plant's operating principle involves using surplus power to pump water more than 700 meters up to Lake Ridham, storing energy, and then releasing it on demand as the water descends, driving turbine generators. Looking ahead, a brighter and greener future currently, a significant project is underway at the Ridham Power Plant with an estimated cost of 250 million Swiss francs, scheduled for completion in mid-2023. The primary objective of this project is to increase the plant's capacity to 60 megawatts. To achieve this, engineers are focused on enhancing water flow to facilitate the generation of additional power. The upgrade also includes a remarkable shift in the way water is routed. While the original plant relied on surface pipes, the new design employs a tunnel board through the mountainside, offering improved efficiency and sustainability. Navigating challenges in construction, the construction of the tunnel posed significant challenges due to the rugged terrain and fractured rock. The risk of water flow, voids, and potential cave-ins required constant interventions to stabilize the rock as the tunnel boring process progressed. The Rhythm Power Plant, located in the canton of Tessin, Switzerland, has a long history dating back to its construction in 1920. 
Over the years, the power plant has undergone several upgrades and renovations to keep up with the growing demand for electricity in the region. However, as the years passed, the need for further expansion became evident to meet the power requirements of the Godhard rail line and the surrounding areas. In May 2019, the decision was made to undertake a complete renewal and expansion of the Ridham power plant to quadruple its output. The project was jointly undertaken by SBB, Swiss Federal Railways, and AET, Azienda Electrica Tissonese, the two owners of the power plant. The ambitious project involved the construction of a pressure tunnel, a new power station, and an equalizing reservoir with a capacity of 100,000 cubic meters. One of the main challenges faced during the construction was the need to relocate the pressure line to Lago Ritum, which was originally partially above ground. The new pressure tunnel, consisting of three sections, was designed to be entirely underground. The upper and lower sections, with lengths of 150 meters and approximately 650 meters respectively, were constructed using the drill and blast method. The middle section, about 1,500 meters long, was excavated as an inclined tunnel using a specially designed gripper tunnel boring machine, TBM, with a diameter of 3.23 meters. The construction work commenced at the beginning of the year, with the teams focusing on various aspects of the project. The lower pressure tunnel, preliminary water drives, and excavation of the equalizing reservoir were underway. Simultaneously, efforts were made to convert the existing power plant to accommodate the new frequency converter required. Another crucial element of the project was the development of a water purification plant to ensure the efficient purification of water at the tunnel construction site. The installation of this plant was considered a significant achievement in terms of nature conservation and environmental protection. However, despite meticulous planning and preparation, the construction teams encountered unforeseen challenges deep within the mountain. The geology of the area proved to be highly complex, with aquiferous and fractured rock posing difficulties during tunneling operations, rock slides and cave-ins occurred, threatening the continuity of the project. To overcome these challenges, innovative solutions were developed by Marty, the company leading the construction efforts. Injection shields were used to seal off aquiferous rock areas and advanced injection techniques involving a combination of cement and pure resin were employed to address varying conditions. Additionally, extensive reinforcement work with liner plates and shotcrete was undertaken to ensure the stability of the tunnel and the safety of the construction crews. Amidst the obstacles, the perseverance and expertise of the tunneling crew played a vital role in overcoming the challenges. Thanks to their efforts and the implementation of innovative solutions, the TBM successfully passed through critical fault zones ultimately achieving the long-awaited breakthrough in February 2022. With the successful breakthrough, the machine was transported back down the shaft, and the project entered the final stages of construction, including completing the headwater gallery and other finishing touches. The completion of the Ridham power plant marked a significant milestone in Switzerland's efforts to expand its power supply and enhance its energy infrastructure. Microtunneling has emerged as a powerful and eco-friendly alternative to traditional pipeline construction, offering the capability to safely traverse under even the widest rivers and navigate intersections of highways, airports, nature reserves, or urban infrastructures, even in challenging geological and groundwater conditions. One notable player in this field is Ludwig Pfeiffer Microtunnel a company renowned for its expertise in executing complex projects. 
A striking example of their capabilities can be seen in the ambitious project undertaken at Lisbon Airport. In this project, the company successfully tunneled beneath the airport's operational runways, an impressive feat considering the ongoing flight operations. Through meticulous planning and the application of expert knowledge, Ludwig Pfeiffer completed the DN-2000 tunnel, boasting a length of 430 meters, adhering to the stringent safety requirements of the client and avoiding any settlement issues near the runways. For the successful commencement of microtunneling work, the construction of a functional road is paramount. This road serves as a safe pathway for transporting machinery parts, which can weigh up to a staggering 60 tons, depending on the diameter. Additionally, it facilitates the transportation of tunneling pipes, which can weigh up to 30 tons throughout the entire construction period, irrespective of weather conditions. The setup for a micro-tunneling project varies based on factors such as tunnel diameter, length, and geological characteristics of the site. It predominantly comprises equipment for the tunnel boring machine, storage facilities for tunneling pipes, an area for storing excavated soil, and a suspension basin for the drilling fluid. The micro-tunneling process employs a bentonite-supported face at the tunnel's front. As the cutting wheel excavates the soil, specifically tailored to the geological conditions, the crushed material is conveyed through a closed pipeline system to the separation plant. The installation of Stahlbetonrohr DN2000, steel-reinforced concrete pipes with a diameter of 2,400 mm, follows sequentially, being pushed forward with hydraulic presses. Precise control of the boring head is achieved using an electronically controlled laser system, GLS, or a control light system, SLS, especially for longer distances and curved trajectories. Efficient lubrication plays a vital role in ensuring smooth advancement and reducing frictional forces during tunneling. Ludwig Pfeiffer Microtunnel employs a computer-controlled system to mix the suspension automatically adapting it based on programmed quantities of individual additives that support the tunnel's crown. After excavation, the separated drilling fluid undergoes treatment in the separation plant. If fine particles are present, centrifuges or filter presses are utilized to ensure proper cleaning before reusing the fluid. The culmination of the micro-tunneling process occurs when the tunnel reaches its target destination. At this point, the tunnel boring machine is disassembled and removed from the tunnel. The tunnel lining, usually consisting of concrete pipes, is then securely positioned to form the final structure of the pipeline. Microtunneling has revolutionized the installation of pipelines, making projects possible in conditions that were once deemed insurmountable. This trenchless construction method has become a viable option for various infrastructure undertakings, owing to its ability to minimize surface disruptions, reduce environmental impact, and overcome challenging obstacles. The environmental benefits of microtunneling are evident, as it reduces the need for extensive surface excavation, thereby preserving landscapes and minimizing disturbance to ecosystems. Additionally, this method is highly advantageous in urban areas where traditional open-cut methods may cause significant disruptions to traffic and residents.